Maria's arrival, a moment of joy amid the chaos and sorrow. <laughs> Her father, Pablo, laughs, proudly declaring she looks just like him. The new parents swing from celebration to despair, navigating the complicated reality of welcoming life into the world during war. It's very scary, and I never want anyone to live through the same experience, Yulia says. The family fled Kramatorsk when she was eight months pregnant, afraid she would give birth as bombs fell on their city. The head of Western Ukraine's largest maternity hospital says some 200 women have made a similar journey, leaving dangerous parts of the country to deliver here where it's comparatively safer. It's hard psychologically for the parents and our staff, she says, telling us they arrive in tears with anxiety. Frequent air raid sirens make it worse. When air raid sirens go off, this is where patients little babies, new moms and dads, and doctors are supposed to come. Now, you have to watch your head. Uh, it's it's a very low ceiling here. And the conditions, they're very, very difficult. If you come on in here, you can see this is what they've got for a temporary shelter right now if those air raid sirens go off. There are benches, there are blankets, there are beds. The floors are dirt. I'm told no babies have been born here in this specific location. But if you just look over right over there, you can see there's a birthing chair just in case. It has the feeling of a tomb rather than a place where life begins. Babies requiring special care can't be taken into the shelter. The equipment they rely on to stay alive can't be set up properly in that space. It means families have to wait out each and every air raid siren in these less safe wards. Construction on a modern bomb shelter is underway. The hospital is asking for donations to pay for the expansion, acknowledging Russia's invasion caught them off guard. We were not ready for that, Dr. Malachinska says, but we prepared everything for ourselves in a short period of time once the war started. Pavlo and Yulia ache to go home soon. They bought and renovated a flat which they believe is still standing. For this time, everything is okay, Pavlo says. What comes next, only God will know. And so they wait the growing displaced families of Ukraine. So Katie, along with expectant mothers, there are so many fleeing Western Ukraine that hospitals and doctors and nurses must be stretched to the breaking point. Well, Russian forces have targeted dozens of medical facilities in Ukraine's south and east, so people really don't have a choice. The maternity hospital we visited is bracing for more women to make the dangerous journey to the west to deliver their babies in a relatively safer place. And the strain is being felt at all medical facilities. We visited another hospital in western Ukraine, and they say they are at capacity. All of their beds are full, and we're told 80% of the patients there were civilians injured in the fighting and they are making contingency plans as everything ian is only expected to get worse all right katie thank you thanks